morning everyone happy uh wednesday july 15th um very exciting day it's beautiful outside in that it is like 64 degrees fahrenheit and it's only gonna get up to 70 today so i'm hoping that we can just open the windows and it'll be a beautiful day so it's wednesday which is typically my Renault day but it's also jeff's birthday so um we have a lot of stuff planned and a lot of stuff to do so i don't know if i'm gonna get to painting today um i might have to do that this weekend oh there's a crack in our granite hmm. i don't know if that was from us anyway so jeff is making um his dinner for uh, his birthday. <laughs> uh, he just prepped it actually because he's making, um, I'm going to say it wrong, it's a uh, French meal. My friend Kim will correct me. Uh, Coco Bain? Coco Bain? Coco Bain? I'm not sure. Uh, one of the two pronunciations. Um, so he is making that, or he made that, he started it this morning. Um, and so now I need to prep the house and prep a few things for the actual event. So let me take you through what we're gonna do. I'm so excited. So, um, basically, the events are going to be, um, I, what I did was this, there's a wine shop that we love, um, that's just not too far from here, um, that delivers, so I, um, had them send three wines, and I'm going to do a, um, like a wine tasting slash like guessing, so I'm going to cover up all the bottles. And I'm gonna make, I need to make for him um, because we are print, we don't printer doesn't have any ink. And I don't leave the house and there wasn't enough time to um, order it online. Uh, so I need to make tasting sheets um, for all three of them and then have him like guess what the wine is. Um, and I was really kind of freaking out because it's three bottles. And I was like, oh no, they're not gonna keep. And we're gonna have three bottles open and he has to drink them all himself. And um, like, what are we gonna do? But he actually needed to use half a bottle of red wine in the dinner he's making. So it's like perfect. So I took a little bit out of two of the bottles um, and left wine in one, like the one that I think he's gonna like the most. I left that full and I didn't open it. Um, and then the two that I think he'll like, one he'll like the least, like I already know what his number three is gonna be. Um, but, and I'll show you the wines once, um, once I get to that point. But so I need to make him that tasting sheet, so that's something else I have to do. I have to bake his cake. Um, so we're gonna do the wine tasting, then we're gonna do dinner. Um, I wanna get the dining room all set up so that we can do the wine tasting and dinner in there and make it like special and different. and because we haven't been able to use the dining area in a really, really long time. So I have a lot of cleaning to do in there. And then um, after that will be cake. Um, I'm making him a red velvet. So I need to do that um, probably midday. He has the meal in the oven right now and we're gonna swap out probably around lunchtime so that I can put the cake in there. Um, so I need to do the cake. And then um, I have five movies slash documentaries about wine um, as options. I thought that was him walking in. Um, and he will get to choose which one he wants to watch for his birthday. And he will get to enjoy whatever glass of wine he would like. So um, we usually do experience gifts for our birthdays. Um, but obviously things are a little bit different now. So this was my take on what a normal kind of experience gift might look like for each other. So yeah, so um, I am going to get into 
the dining room and start cleaning and organizing and getting that ready for a fun day. I'm really excited. <laughs> Do a bunt. directions for high altitudes? So what? That's crazy. Okay. Measuring cup here. 
so cups. <laughs> They're good at baking. All right, so half a cup. equals eight tablespoons. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This whole thing. Okay, great. This whole stick of butter. Go one on in. Two, nine, three, four, five, six, eight. Still cold, so I'll see you just warm that up a snitch. Ready to go. So, just as 
buttery as possible so that I don't get a bunch of sticking. <laughs> sticking is the worst. Okay, I'm more butter in here. Make sure I have this especially around the edges. Can you imagine? What if I'm not supposed to use butter? I have a butter hand. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm not supposed to be using butter. But it did. It's over. Hopefully, it works. evenly as humanly perishable. is what do you call it cream cheese frosting um, and I feel like it's just going to be better in the fridge um, rather than 
not in the fridge. Maybe I can take this water bottle and eat it. I don't know. Question mark. Let's see if I can find one in the fridge. This is the last podcast I've watched. Okay. So now I need to get information about all of the wines so that I can uh, be a good wine tasting person. What is that person called? I like, can't think of what it's called right now, and it's mostly because my baby is giving me a baby brain. Oh my gosh, I look at the watermelon. Um, so I need to do that, and then I need to go get ready so that it don't look like this anymore. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go do. It. Oh, actually, let me tell you what the wines are. So we have two here. I don't want to put them out. I want them to breathe. It's right close to my face. I want them to be able to breathe. I think I want to wait to put them out until three, three o'clock. Cause it's warm in here, and I don't want them to. So I have put you somewhere so I can tell you about what I have here. So this was the one I didn't have him open for the meal. It's a Nebbiolo, um, and I think that he's really gonna like this if it's a good Nebbiolo. Um, so I did, I wanted him to have this open if he wanted to like it. So, um, so it's lighter, gently crisp with a nice fizz. Oh, I almost didn't put the fizz on there. That's interesting. Uh, so, I feel like we should be able to stick it up in here after. Here, I take it out. <clears throat> so, then we have a California cab 2018. He's really gonna like this one. I think if I have to guess, Nebula is not gonna be Nebula is gonna be number one. Rioja and then the California. So I'm really excited about that. But I need to take pictures of these so that I can get some info. So I'm gonna do that. And then I guess I'm gonna go get ready so I can like get stuff together. Ha, 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 ha. 